the saying goes, opportunities come to those who wait. But chances are, you still don't get the opportunities you want. Think of years working for someone else, yet your salary stays the same, or years pursuing a loving relationship and still attracting the wrong people. You name it. It's frustrating, and although you're patient, switching things up seems impossible. What if you knew the key to finally attracting anything and anyone you ever wanted, only through changing your narrative? Also known as the law of assumption, this change of perspective is bound to change your life for the better and help you live the life of your dreams. Stick around, for abundance will flow seamlessly from now on. It is a fact that we, as humans, are wired for stories. Think, for example, about the Boogeyman, a mythical creature used by adults to frighten children into good behavior. Perhaps you've never seen this monster, but somehow it sticks in your mind no matter your age. These stories, whether passed down through generations or ingrained through cultural narratives, have a profound impact on how we perceive the world and ourselves. Although seemingly harmless, the narrative we tell ourselves perpetuates stereotypes and misunderstandings between one another. Take, for instance, the belief that all men or all women are the same. By subscribing to these broad generalizations, we limit our capacity to form genuine connections and relationships. When we box individuals into predefined categories based on aspects like gender, we overlook the uniqueness and diversity of human experience. Similarly, notions like money is the root of all evil or money is hard to come by create a scarcity mindset that hinders our ability to generate wealth and abundance. We manifest our beliefs into reality, attracting situations that confirm our preconceived notions. This phenomenon, also called a self-fulfilled prophecy, is a mental jail. For when we internalize these narratives, they become the lens through which we view ourselves and the world around us. We unwittingly confine ourselves to a narrow perception of what is possible, limiting our potential for growth and fulfillment. These beliefs act as self-imposed barriers, preventing us from exploring new opportunities or pursuing our dreams. Far from being mere philosophical discussions, these narratives impact various aspects of our lives. In relationships, believing in stereotypes like all men are unfaithful or all women are overly emotional can lead to distrust and conflict. Financially, ingrained beliefs about money can create a scarcity mentality, hindering our ability to save, invest, or pursue wealth-building opportunities. In terms of spiritual development, limiting beliefs about our capabilities or worthiness can prevent us from taking risks or pursuing our passions. Most of these instances are a byproduct of a specific upbringing as well as the society we've been living in. The people you spend the most time with, be it parents, tutors or friends, have definitely shaped your mindset. The first step to attracting whatever or whoever we want consists of becoming aware of these influences. And the second one, changing the narrative we tell ourselves. Ever since you were born, your parents, teachers and closest friends have inevitably shaped your reality, forming who you are right now as a person. That's why it's common to hear people say, this is who I am, or I just can't change myself. To put it simply, most people have been programmed by their environment, which in turn has made them feel as if they are incapable of programming themselves. A computer has default settings, but we often customize them completely to fit your needs. The same idea goes for our mindset and spirit. Just like every country has its own cultural and legal framework, you too can redefine your mental landscape. If you've been told that money is the root of all evil, but you want to be prosperous, you can switch that idea up and become a wealth magnet. If you've been told that it's hard to find a committed relationship, think of people who against all odds find that kind of love and learn from them. 
they will be more than happy to give you guidance. If you've been told that at a certain age, you can't do sports anymore, challenge that belief by eating right and doing exercise, thus preventing rather than trying to heal when it's too late. Just like a computer scientist can do magic with a couple lines of code, you can write your own script. Start by identifying the beliefs that no longer serve you and replace them with empowering alternatives. For example, instead of saying, I'll never be successful, reframe it as, I am capable of achieving my goals and creating the life I desire. Consider another common belief, I'm not good enough. This belief can manifest in various aspects of life, from relationships to career opportunities. However, by challenging this belief and replacing it with, I am worthy of love and respect, you open yourself up to healthier relationships and greater self-confidence. Similarly, if you've internalized the idea that I'm too old to pursue my dreams, challenge this notion by adopting the mindset of it's never too late to follow my passions and make meaningful contributions. Many successful individuals have achieved their dreams later in life, proving that age is just a number when it comes to pursuing your aspirations. For example, Julian Mantle, also known as the monk that sold his Ferrari, decided to become a monk after a life that many would deem as successful, making thousands of dollars as a lawyer. Instead, he redefined what happiness meant to him, and he decided to sell his material possessions to live a simpler lifestyle where peace and health became the center. So genuinely sit down and take a critical look at the beliefs that have been ingrained in you and question their validity. Are these beliefs based on evidence or simply inherited assumptions? By challenging these limiting beliefs, you can open yourself up to new possibilities and opportunities for growth. Remember, you have the power to rewrite your story and create a reality that aligns with your true desires and aspirations. Now, you might be fully convinced that you must take action to rewrite your own story, but it's way easier said than done. Typically, our inner programming stays the same, despite deliberately working on changing our mindset. Perhaps, on a superficial and conscious level, we know what's wrong with us, but our lizard brains impede the manifestation of the reality we want for ourselves. For example, despite knowing that a negative self-image hinders our progress, we find it challenging to break free from ingrained patterns of self-doubt and criticism. Our subconscious mind holds onto past experiences and beliefs, making it difficult to adopt new, empowering perspectives. Consider someone who's a dedicated fitness enthusiast who spends hours in the gym every week, meticulously tracking their diet and following workout routines. Despite their diligent efforts, they struggle to attain the physique they desire due to external influences that perpetuate unrealistic beauty standards and relatives who think she's just training too much. These contradictory messages make her doubtful of what she once deemed as a clear pathway to progress and health. As a result, she ends up giving up, far from achieving the looks and lifestyle she always wanted. In this case, this person's subconscious mind holds onto past experiences of feeling inadequate or unworthy, reinforcing negative beliefs about their body image and self-worth. Despite this person's rational understanding that training is a major element to physical success, the struggles to internalize this truth and break free from the cycle of self-doubt and criticism stay there. Taking charge of our narrative requires intentional effort and consistency. It's about actively choosing to redirect our thoughts and focus on the positive aspects of our lives. Instead of dwelling on past failures or perceived shortcomings, we can reframe our experiences in a more constructive light. This shift in mindset empowers us to take proactive steps towards our goals, knowing that our thoughts and beliefs shape our reality. 
spiritual growth reflections are essential for navigating the hurdles of change. It's important to take time to reflect on our progress, celebrate our successes, and learn from our setbacks. A growth mindset is the key to view challenges as opportunities for learning and development, rather than obstacles to be avoided or frameworks to be accepted as mere axioms. But how do we overcome negative influences? Affirmations and visualizations are indeed powerful tools for reprogramming the subconscious mind. Use them in the morning, upon awakening, and right before you fall asleep. Still, there are additional techniques that can further enhance our ability to cultivate a positive self-image and manifest our dreams. One effective strategy is the practice of emotional journaling. This involves setting aside time each day to reflect on our thoughts and feelings, allowing ourselves to express any negative emotions or self-doubts that may arise. By writing down our innermost thoughts, we gain clarity on the root causes of our insecurities and can begin to challenge negative beliefs that hold us back. Another valuable and extremely practical technique is to cut off negative influences from our lives. This may involve unfollowing accounts on social media that promote unrealistic beauty standards or setting boundaries with friends and family members who perpetuate harmful stereotypes and narratives that do not benefit you. The goal, at the end of the day, is to create space for positive growth and self-discovery, minimizing the likelihood of external agents trying to drag us down. In addition to these strategies, surrounding ourselves with supportive individuals who uplift and empower us can greatly impact our self-esteem and confidence. By cultivating a network of positive influences, we foster a sense of belonging and acceptance that bolsters our self-confidence and resilience. Now that you know some crucial techniques for overcoming negative influences, let us focus on journaling. It may seem a pretty basic approach to rewriting our own narrative, but it certainly helps. The problem is that most people can't harness the potential it holds as they end up distracting themselves instead of fully focusing on the power of writing feelings and emotions and keeping track of them. The Latin saying, verba volant, scripta manant, encapsulates this idea masterfully as words fly away, written ones remain. But how can we truly harness the power of journaling to materialize our desires? The answer lies in understanding the art of journaling as if our dreams have already materialized. By writing in our journals as if our desires have already come to fruition, we send a powerful message to our subconscious mind, which then works tirelessly to manifest our intentions into reality. This technique, also called Letter to the Universe, acts not as a mere wish list, but as a plan of action or even a daily checkup. Just like you go to the doctor from time to time to check whether your health is on point, you can sit down every day to track how you feel and think, and most importantly, how closer you are to your own goals. However, it's not enough to simply journal sporadically or half-heartedly. Consistency is key to unlocking the full potential of this practice. By committing to daily affirmations and journaling sessions, we create a routine that reinforces our desired beliefs and goals. Over time, this repetition strengthens the neural pathways associated with our desires, making them more likely to manifest in our lives. Another important yet forgotten element is gratitude. This virtue is a magnet for positive energy and attracting abundance. By expressing gratitude for the blessings and manifestations already present in our lives, we cultivate a mindset of abundance and appreciation. Consider this, at the end of the day, how we feel internally translates into what we experience in the outside world. When we approach life with gratitude, we shift our focus from scarcity to abundance and from lack to plenty. This shift in perspective not only raises our vibrational frequency, but also aligns us with the frequency of our desires. Gratitude acts as a bridge between our present reality and our desired outcomes. 
Acknowledging and appreciating the blessings in our lives is the way we open ourselves up to receive even more blessings. It's like sending out a signal to the universe that says, I am grateful for what I have and I am ready to receive more. Moreover, practicing gratitude in our journaling routine reinforces our positive beliefs and intentions. As we write about the things we are grateful for, we anchor those feelings of appreciation into our subconscious mind. This creates a powerful feedback loop where the more we express gratitude, the more blessings we attract into our lives. Gratitude, therefore, is not just a fleeting emotion, it's a transformative force that can shape our reality. When we cultivate an attitude of gratitude, we invite abundance, joy, and fulfillment into every aspect of our lives. Rewriting our narratives is one of the most important yet difficult steps in your spiritual growth journey. Together, we've explored the profound influence of our beliefs and stories on our reality, from the narratives ingrained in us since childhood to the limiting beliefs that hold us back We've uncovered the barriers that stand between us and our true desires. But as stated before, we can redefine the terms, turning these challenges into immense opportunities. We've learned that we have the power to redefine our stories, to challenge the beliefs that no longer serve us, and to craft a new narrative that aligns with our dreams. By taking intentional action, and committing to consistent practices like affirmations, visualizations, and journaling, we can reprogram our subconscious minds and manifest our deepest desires. However, the journey doesn't end here. It's essential to remember that change takes time and effort. Let us be patient with ourselves and persistent in our efforts. Each small step we take towards rewriting our narrative brings us closer to the life we truly desire. Take a moment to reflect on your own beliefs and narratives. What stories have you been telling yourself? What limiting beliefs have been holding you back? And most importantly, what new story do you want to write for yourself? Before we leave, remember that you are the author of your own story. You have the power to change the script, to redefine your reality, and to manifest the life of your dreams. So. Embrace your power, trust in the process, and take inspired action towards the life you truly deserve. Now is the time to step into your power, rewrite your story, and create the life you've always wanted. The possibilities are endless, and the choice is yours. Are you ready to embark on this transformative journey? Your dream life awaits.